Not me having collagen on my chest. Hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. A lot of you have been wondering lately, like, Yuki, what are you doing to your skin? It is looking amazing. And I've been finally getting consistent again, not only with my skincare, but with a lot of my supplements that actually promote healthy, glowy skin. Also, shout out to iHerb for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to them. So let me even tell you how this whole, like, brand collaboration thing came up months ago now mind you anybody that knows me personally knows that i am the supplement plug my friends come to me for all types of stuff and i'll actually give you guys the scoop on a lot of supplements that i have used and these are effective a lot of them are natural before i do get started though i just want to say that my opinions in this video are not representative of any organization past present or future whether um, hospital organizations medical healthcare, nursing organizations and associations not even i herb okay all the stuff that i'm saying these are my own opinions so if you got a problem baby you just don't have to <laughs> hold it in because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna go in in this video. So as a registered nurse, there are supplements that I have learned over time are really helpful for someone in the line of fire, I would say, especially with this whole panoramic that's been going on. Panoramic, 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 panoramic. These are supplements I've been using for years. Some of them, only a few months. I think it's only actually two of them that I've been using for a few months. And if you did not know about iHerb, it is an online retailer for all kinds of stuff. Supplements, sports nutrition, beauty, bath, like so much, even grocery. Like They have over 30,000 products and a lot of the supplements I'm gonna be mentioning are from iHerb. Okay, I think all of them actually are from iHerb in this video. I will have a list of everything that you need down below in the description box so you don't have to worry about jotting anything down. I will already have it available for you as well as my link. I've kind of kept this part of myself off camera because I don't know, I don't know why really. I know a lot of you would really benefit from the information that I have. Obviously, like I'm more than beauty. I'm also Girl, this is a whole lot of layers to Yuki, okay? I wanna make sure that you guys are getting the most out of what I have to offer. Hence this video and the divine timing of this collaboration was perfect because I literally was thinking months ago, like, man, if I could just do a video where I tell people about like all these wonderful supplements that I've been using and stuff that's really helped me. And behold, they hit me up and they're like, hey, we want to collaborate with you. I'm like, oh my gosh, I know you guys. I know I heard, I know you guys. I know you guys. I know. <laughs> Ooh, panoramic, 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 panoramic. So I'm going to show you guys the moment where I actually unboxed my stuff from iHerb. Here we have the packaging and as you can see that it does have their name on the outside label so you know where your package is coming from and who it's from. I'm going to go over the list of things that I picked up from them. First was my dandelion root tea. She is that girl. If you are like me and you, whenever you eat anything that's like high salt, high fat foods or just like junk foods or processed foods and you swell up the next day, roasted dandelion root tea is for you, okay? It is also a liver aid, I will say it that way. I don't know necessarily if you can consider it a liver detoxifier, some people refer to it as that. And then next we have chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is, oof, I will wait till the end to tell you guys about chlorophyll and I specifically like this brand, which I'm glad that iHerb offers this on their site because I cannot find it anywhere else right now, so they really came through for me. I will go into more detail about chlorophyll in a second. And there's lactoferrin, you guys. Lactoferrin, if you are somebody that suffers from iron deficiency anemia, you need to have lactoferrin in your medicine cabinet. You need to have lactoferrin every day. I will go into more details about what it does, how it works, how, how it has helped me, and yeah, we, we oh girl, we gonna get in, we gonna get into it. Just don't worry, okay? Next, I picked up Femdophilus, which is actually a probiotic. You guys know you need good bacteria, and I picked this up because it is specifically made to populate your vaginal and urinary tract with 
beneficial bacteria because when you have bacteria that are good and they're plentiful they will crowd out the bad ones it's a lot of information baby i know but you it's okay baby we're gonna get it together and then i got california gold nutrition's collagen up this is one of iherb's exclusive brands because they do have their own exclusive brand of products this is marine source collagen peptides with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. And when I tell you this is a one, two, three punch to your beauty routine, absolutely, fantastically, obviously, like you need it, okay? <laughs> I personally decided to start taking collagen because the other supplement that I was taking, which iHerb also carries, this was not in my unboxing because I already had it, so I didn't pick it up from them, but it is MSM, methyl sulfonyl methane. I'm gonna show you guys how I use it because when I was taking this internally, like by mouth in some water and drinking it, it is bitter as can be, but y'all, MSM is that girl. You think collagen gets your skin soft? Try MSM. Like, give it a week, you will be like, wait, whoa, what's what's going on? The first time I tried MSM, I was so juiced. It took away my sugar cravings like that. No joke. I don't know the mechanisms of it. They do say that I guess the excess dietary sulfur, it crowds out um, yeast or candida, which actually will promote excessive sugar cravings that a lot of us have. It creates an environment in the gut that makes it difficult for bad bacteria to um, grow and populate. So MSM is, it's great. Unfortunately, I could not continue taking it because my body began to react to the excess sulfur. There are some people who just genetically, they are just not able to process that excess sulfur. However, there most people are pretty much okay with it. They don't have any issues whatsoever. So I've switched, so I still use MSM, don't get, don't get me wrong, because I love the skin benefits, oh my gosh. But I stopped taking it internally and now I take it externally, externally where I apply it topically and I actually mix it into my lotion. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that later on. The advice that I'm giving in this video, I'm not giving it as a registered nurse. I'm. This is not, this is not advice that you can go to your doctor and be like, this YouTuber I watch says that she takes this for this and I'm gonna take it now and forget whatever you have to say. Before you take any supplements, please follow up first with your primary care doctor and establish establish that connection. A lot of the statements I'll be making and just hypotheses and my own personal opinions have not been approved by the FDA. Just so you're aware, I do have research background, I guess you could call it. I took a research class, baby, that's all I could tell you. Um, I know how to look for um, quantitative clinical studies that have been carried out using several different supplements and how they react. So I, I look, I search, I dig. I will not stop until I find the answer to something. So when I use stuff, it's because I've actually looked into it. Now, that's not the case with everything because not everything is widely studied. Not everything has research to back it up. However, there are people that have been using supplements for a long period of time. And I feel like in a way, those are the experts. They can tell you, you know, things that they've seen through trial and error as to how that supplement works for them, again, because it may not necessarily work for you. My whole thing is this, when people dog people out for taking certain supplements or for trying things out themselves, unless you're someone who has had to deal with having a chronic health issue that traditional medicine is unable to address or refuses to address, you won't really understand. At the end of the day, as someone who is in healthcare and has almost 10 years of nursing experience as a registered nurse, um, healthcare moves slowly, very slowly. So if you have a condition or you just have symptoms that just don't make sense, things are not connecting, you're more likely to find other people that have a similar story to yours and kind of like experiment with some of the stuff that they used because nobody has time to wait 40 years for the authorities that be to make up their minds and decide, okay, let's look into treating this or let's look into what this supplement could potentially do for this. It's helpful to get other people's personal input as to maybe a supplement that you've heard, okay, this might work for this, but I'm not quite sure. It helps to have somebody else tell you, oh, I've been taking that for years and it worked for me. When you're desperate to, like, here, here's the thing about wellness, right? Like, when you don't have your health, that is when you realize how valuable it is. 
period. Sorry for my little tangent, guys, but um, all of these items, including the stuff that iHerb didn't even send to me, iHerb carries. Like, almost every single supplement that I own is carried on the iHerb site. So that just goes to show you like they are big, big, okay? I pretty much already kind of gave you guys the deal, like the whole shebang on roasted dandelion root tea. It says it stimulates the liver and supports healthy digestion. If you're a person that likes sugar and everything, you're not going to like the taste. That's just the truth. It has a herbal bitter, not super bitter, but it has an herbal taste to it. I don't mind the taste. I'm not somebody that has to like have everything taste good in order to take it. If something is good for my body, I am, no, no matter how bitter it is, I would take the thing. Trust me. I, well, you're talking to somebody that has taken MSM and just water. No juice, no flavoring, not just water. And anybody that has taken MSM will tell you it is bitter. Ah, that thing is bitter. So this really helps. Also, I noticed like if I'm bloated or I just feel like my digestive system is not moving to, you know, it's not giving the way I want it to give. It's not giving flat tummy, it's giving bloated. Two tea bags of dandelion root tea and steep them, you know, 10, 15 minutes, what have you, and drink that and honey, you're gonna be moving. It's not gonna be right away and it's not a laxative, but you will feel like it's. it has like a weird, it's like an internal cleansing effect that's going on. If I'm eating junk food and usually the next morning I'm swollen, if I take down a line root tea that night, I have to take it that night too. If I don't take it that night, it's a problem. But if I take it that night, when I wake up the next morning, I'm good. It does have a bit of diuretic effect, which means that it will um, flush excess water out. It does have a bit of that effect. So just be aware. I have so many positive things to say about Lactoferrin, especially this life extension brand of Lactoferrin. It's actually found in colostrum, that I do know. So here's the thing about Lactoferrin, it is found in cow milk and human milk. Colostrum, which is the first milk produced after a baby is born, contains about seven times more lactoferrin than is found in milk produced later on. Funny enough, I remember seeing something about they're not quite sure how lactoferrin works per se when it comes to infections. Now, I take it for iron deficiency anemia. If you're somebody that you have low iron levels, you need lactoferrin. When you have bacteria in your body, right, especially bad bacteria, there's something called biofilm they form biofilm, which is a protective barrier, you would call it, that consists of many different things, including heavy metals and sometimes iron, because they essentially, the bacteria, they sap your nutrients to protect themselves. So that's why you see a lot of times when people take antibiotics for something and it doesn't get wiped out, it's because those bacteria are protected by a biofilm layer. And um, I don't really wanna go into too, too much detail about biofilm. You can, all this stuff that I'm saying, you can definitely look it up on your own. Essentially binds to iron. So anywhere else in the body that iron is like, I don't, like biofilm for example, it will grab on to that iron so that your body can actually absorb the iron. Now lactoferrin is also used for certain types of infections. And it's because of that whole, like they don't know fully, fully how it operates. I came across a patient who said that they were using lactoferrin to help them with UTI symptoms. And it was a recurrent UTI that, okay, get this, a recurrent UTI that was not being picked up in lab cultures, like in urine cultures. I'm not, okay, please. I beg you, I beg you with the love of God. Don't go and say that Yuki said that lactoferrin will help your infection. Please, that's, that's not what I'm saying, no, okay? Please, I'm just telling you what a patient told me. So, took a round of antibiotics, nothing helped. Went and got cultures, the cultures were negative. So the doctor's like, you don't have a UTI. And she's like, what do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? I Like, she was suffering. She came across lactoferrin, started taking them. She mentioned, I do remember her mentioning having to take more than a recommended dose. Um, each time, but it kicked her UTI. Now, I don't know if she has to stay on it to keep those symptoms away. She didn't tell me she was cured. She just told me she was taking them consistently and not experiencing UTI symptoms. I don't know the full story, but I just thought I'll put that out there for anybody who is maybe suffering with that stuff. 
Just letting you know, just letting you know, but it's definitely effective for those with iron deficiency anemia. I'm somebody that I don't really tolerate traditional iron very well. And um, I've been taking lactoferrin consistently and I've been taking it twice a day actually, not even just once a day. I've been taking it twice a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. And I actually take it with my chlorophyll and with um, my blood builder, which is an iron supplement that, that iHerb carries as well. iHerb got everything, okay? Like just, just let it be known. iHerb, they have everything. When I tell you that my iron levels, I can tell that they're going up because my energy is going up, you guys. Like, oh, it is such a freaking relief. Granted, you're only supposed to be doing these things once a day, but there are some of us that we just need the extra help, okay? That's all I have to say. Moving on to the next thing. The way I rant about lactoferrin is the way I will rant about chlorophyll. Hey, chlorophyll. All right, you're gonna laugh. I like the taste of the chlorophyll. <laughs> there are other brands that, you know, they make, they make it minty, they make it try to taste nice, da da da. I actually hate the taste of those. I keep going back to the chloroxygen chlorophyll and it does say on here that it builds red blood cells. So chlorophyll is, think of it as plant blood. It's from plants and it helps your body to stimulate production of healthy red blood cells. So it'll be great for people who suffer from iron deficiency anemia. Let me tell you the kicker about chlorophyll. When I found this out, I tell you baby. <laughs> It was over, okay? Over. Chlorophyll is actually also an internal deodorizer. I haven't really looked into the full, like, in-depth system of how it works and everything in this aspect of the deodorization properties, but I ain't got morning breath anymore. <sighs> no morning breath. None, baby, none. Like, do, do you know what that means? Hey, do you understand what that means? That means that if you are with your lover, well, those of us that are celibate, you know, are just one day, one day. If you are with your lover and you wake up and you don't have to be hiding your face trying to do some, oh, good morning. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Baby, get some chlorophyll in your life and you will wake up and you can't be doing just in the body without having to worry about, oh, let me go quickly brush my teeth because the breath is kicking. Mm -mm. Get you some chlorophyll, boo. Get you some chlorophyll, it works. When you have chlorophyll in your system, you can work out at the gym or wherever and not have a smell. You look like, even your, even your bowel movements do not have a smell, you guys. Let me put you on. All those people that like to talk about, oh, women, you need to de mm, 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 men need some deodorization too. The only downside to chlorophyll, it makes your poo green. That's the only downside. But that's the downside I'm willing to take, baby. Because what, like, you don't have a smell. If you struggle with body odor, get you some chlorophyll, please, for the life of every, every. in fact, and these two together. Lactoferrin and chlorophyll together is a done deal. Because funny enough, I found out one day, I wasn't taking my, chlor my chlorophyll consistently, but I was still taking my lactoferrin. And I did not have as much of a smell to my natural bodily secretions. Your, your girl ain't got body odor, I'll tell you that much, okay? I don't, so don't come for me. But <laughs> I know it's just a faint, you know, like, cause when you, when you, when you have chlorophyll in your system, you will know you, you can't smell anything on you. It's not that you can't smell it. Nobody can smell it. I'm not saying that it's just going to dull your sense of smell. No, but you literally do not have a smell. But with lactoferrin, I noticed it also takes away bad smells and come to find out lactoferrin, I believe from what I read, if I remember this correctly, I believe that it starves out odor causing bacteria, if I remember correctly. So odor causing bacteria are generally bad bacteria. Now here's the kicker. If you are on chlorophyll, okay, and you're consuming processed foods like sugars, you're not going to get the full benefit of the deodorization. I noticed it because there was a day, I think I had wine, yeah, I think I had wine, like, more than a glass. 
And I, I was still on my chlorophyll. I take it twice a day. And I noticed the next day I had a faint smell and I was like, okay, okay. And that's happened several different times where it wasn't even wine the next time. It was like some type of, I think I had like, you know, sugars and all that. And I had chlorophyll in my system still woke up the next morning and I noticed there was a smell. So, um, sugars cancel out the deodor deodorization. So if you're on chlorophyll, try to eat, eat as, he as healthy as you can. Um, and if for whatever reason you just don't, maybe double up on your, let me let me not say that because I don't, want, I don't want no type of liability, okay? So before I forget, chlorophyll does actually stain you guys. So do not get it on anything because um, he's gonna be a deadly day. But um, I actually take it with a straw. I put it in my water and I use a straw because it can also stain your teeth. So um, I usually will take it first thing in the morning before brushing my teeth and also very late at night, brush my teeth and then go to bed. So I just take a little bit of water, not much at all, and I put a full dropper of the Cloroxygen Chlorophyll in there. The serving size does actually say 18 drops, but I don't be counting, so I just take a full dropper and put it in my water. <laughs> Femdophilus is a vaginal and urinary tract health promoting probiotic supplement. And this is actually backed by um, a randomized con clinical trial. I don't, I don't, it doesn't indicate that it's randomized controlled, but it's randomized clinical trials where 75% of women in the probiotic group experience significant improvement in their vaginal flora composition. Vaginal floral composition means there is a variety of good beneficial bacteria in the vagina, near the vagina. When you have enough good bacteria, it crowds out the bad. Bad bacteria, for example, that can cause stuff like BV, bacterial vaginosis, bad bacteria that can cause stuff like um, uh, vulval vaginal candidiasis, which is a yeast infection of the vaginal region. If you're having stuff like itching in the vagina or even in the rectum, there might be something there. And it's not necessarily always, you know, an STI. It could literally just be that your um, bacterial composition is off. So yeah, back probiotics help. Probiotics definitely help. And also as a nurse, okay. Y'all don't know this, but nurses, hold, we hold our pee a lot because you're so busy. You're so busy, you barely have time to go to the bathroom. And I feel like nurses have a lot of bladder issues and urinary tract issues. So if we can populate our vaginas and urinary tracts with as much good bacteria as possible, we gonna do it, okay? We have MSM. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> MSM is methylsulfonyl methane. It is essentially sulfur. I mentioned a bit of this earlier on in the video. You need to look for MSM that has the Opti MSM logo on it. You guys, that is the best quality of MSM that you can get. It is made, I believe, here in the US or in Canada, one of those. What I meant to say is that sulfur is actually found naturally in a lot of vegetables and stuff. A lot of those like hair, skin, nails, vitamins that a lot of people be taking, MSM is usually the, one of the key ingredients. And that is because it promotes hair growth, nail growth. It helps with joints. It is not just for old people, you guys, trust me. Okay, a lot of people say, oh, MSM, that's for people with joint issues. No, 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 no. You don't have to wait until you get up there in age to start taking care of your body. It's found also in cosmetics. I am a huge advocate for MSM, but unfortunately my body just did not react well to it. And it wasn't an immediate thing. It's just once it builds up in my system over several weeks, that's when I start noticing like, the sluggishness, and that's because my body just does not, personally, my body just does not deal well, well, deal well with processing it completely. Now, there are people that have zero issues whatsoever with it, so if, if you happen to be one of those, good for you. I'm a little bit, um, I'm not gonna say I'm jealous, but whatever, okay, do you, boo, I guess, and get all the internal benefits while some of us have to suffer. MSM helps with joints, skin, nails, but also pretty much everything else, including digestion. And the reason I say that is because when I was taking MSM, I noticed that certain foods I reacted to previously, I had zero reaction to them. I'm being really personal. I'm really letting you guys in. Like, oh my gosh. I still do use it. And how I use it is I actually, I actually put it in my creams and lotions and in my skincare. 
because I want to get the benefits. Like y'all can't just be out here getting the glowy, super duper dewy skin and I'm just out here suffering. Like, no, okay? So here's what I actually do. I have a, what kind of blender I got, girl? I have a ninja. <laughs> She's got a ninja. And I take a little bit of my MSM powder. Now this powder is not necessarily a powder powder. It all, it's almost like fine crystals in a way. So I take a little bit of it. I pop it, you know, in my little single serve ninja, you know, adapter thingy. I'll be forgetting stuff, so I'm sorry. And I try to blend it enough to where it becomes like a fine powder. I usually like to go ahead and just put it inside of my, um, my body, my moisturizing cream that I use for all over my body. And the one I use right now is um, CeraVe. I believe they're also found on the iHerb website as well. iHerb just got everything, okay? You don't need nobody else. You don't need no other body. Dun, dun. I mix it into my CeraVe and I, you know, just turn that, turn that, turn it, turn it, turn it. And I apply it whenever I'm putting my lotion on once I've gotten out the shower or what have you. And it has made my skin soft. Unfortunately, the skin smoothing and skin softening effects of MSM are not as great when you're only taking it topically, when you're only applying it onto the skin. Um, when I was taking it internally, you guys like, you couldn't tell me anything. You could not tell me anything at all. I'm still getting the benefits, you know, but it's just not, it's just not giving the way taking it internally was giving. <laughs> However, something that I did pick up to help me with my skin, just a little extra boosty boost is collagen. I know collagen has been gaining a whole lot of popularity lately. Somebody actually went as far as saying um, it's not collagen that most people need, it's actually MSM because MSM actually helps with collagen production. So if you can tolerate MSM internally, try that boo. You might not need as much collagen as you're using. However, I do still think taking collagen is a good idea because over time as you age, you know, your collagen production does lower. But because I can't really get the full, full benefits of MSM like I want, I decided to pick up collagen from, again, iHerb. And this is marine source collagen peptides. And guess what? It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, baby. <laughs> Damn mad. My enemies, the enemies of my skin progress are actually mad because you have everything in here. And okay, yeah, as for somebody that's, you know, super researchy and all that stuff, I did not know you could take hyaluronic acid internally. I did not know. Don't judge me. I've only been taking it for like a week. Um, I'm waiting to still see where results results because just a week is not enough for for you to get results from pretty much anything, um, for you to see full results anyway from anything. But my, my, my skin, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. you thought it was glowy before? Just wait, just wait. Somebody actually posted on my last video, they were like, not the last video, I think the second, third, several videos ago. Somebody has said, I don't know what it is. It's like you've gotten prettier. And I was like, Thank you. When I saw that comment, I was like, you know what? I saw a living God. Oh, I even forgot, I forgot to mention chlorophyll also helps your skin. <laughs> chlorophyll helps your skin too. Like I just, I want to just give, every, if I could just buy out all of iHerb and give all my subscribers, I would do it because the way my life has been changing, consistency, <laughs> consistency in taking your supplements is, it's a madness, bruv. It walks, <laughs> it walks. So a combination of the chlorophyll, lactoferrin, I don't know if that has any effect on skin. If it does, that would be very, very interesting because I've never read anything about that. But MSM, we already know. Even just topically, MSM helps your skin majorly. So those two so far, the chlorophyll and the MSM together has been helping me so much, you guys. And once I start seeing full results from the collagen, it's over for everybody. I'm 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 coming I'm coming I'm, com I'm coming for everybody. I'm coming for everybody. Okay? It's about to be a madness.
period. I'm so glad I got to share this video with you guys. Like it's, it feels like a huge weight has been lifted off of my chest. The last thing I was gonna mention is lemon balm. I did not pick it up from iHerb this time around because I found out I'm allergic to it. Why is it the best things that my body does not want to cooperate with? I don't understand. Why? Ah, this life no balance at all. Like when I tell you guys, I've known about lemon balm for years and I was using it for over a year at one point until one day I started taking it and I realized I was popping up with hives and I was like, what the heck is this? With elimination, I was able to find out that it was actually lemon balm. It's a natural supplement and it's, um, it's an herbal supplement and it actually helps with anxiety. Like when I tell you lemon balm relaxes you, it is like that. It re Ooh. it relaxes you, my dear. Oh, anybody stressing you out? Lemon balm. Anybody want to do any type of rubbish? Lemon balm. Your man cheated on you? Lemon balm. iHerb has a whole ton of different lemon balm supplements on their site. When I tell you guys lemon balm was a game changer for me, it was a game changer. I have a friend who was, and a lot of nurses will know this, a lot because a lot of nurses suffer with this. She was dealing with really bad anxiety. To this day, she still reorders the lemon balm and still takes it. Like she was like, oh my gosh, this is so helpful. Yuki, thank you so much. I I don't, I don't even know how I be coming across the information I be coming across. I, I really have no idea. <laughs> I do want to retry it at a later point to see if maybe somehow magically the allergy was resolved and I no longer have hives with it, but it is so good. You don't even have to have anxiety to take lemon balm. That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know I have talked and talked and talked your ear off, but I really, really hope that this was useful to you. I hope this information is something that you can actually utilize. And if you happen to use any of these products, let me know down below in the comment section. Do go ahead and check out iHerb. I will leave a link, several links possibly for you guys down below in the description box that you can take a look at. Again, they do ship to over 180 countries. So that is awesome thank you so much to iherb for sponsoring this video once again so let me go take my nighttime supplements right now and i will see you guys in the next one lord willing stay blessed bye